Welcome. This is Jamie McLennan, the CTO of Prediction Software. Today we're going to talk about what's new in Prediction Insight 4.0. While this video is targeting uh, previous users of Prediction Insight, if you haven't used Prediction Insight before, stick around and see some of the highlights about what we're offering in our new release. Prediction Insight 4.0 is totally designed around enabling and expediting the deployment of analytics into production. We do this in many different ways. Uh, we enable data scientists to actually leverage their existing resources, things that they've created in R or other analytical packages through PMML, to deploy those through the Prediction Insight Workbench in the, in, in the Insight environment. Uh, we allow you now to combine uh, multiple data sources from different environments into a single package where they can be shaped together and blended together uh, to, um, to create a complete analytical data set which represents your data. We also allow you to bring in unstructured data sources uh, to do text analysis and other kinds of analysis on that data. We have uh, data exploration at the point of design where you can see statistical patterns, um, correlations, and um, your own data exploration uh, environment for understanding your data. We have a completely new collaboration and visualization environment which allows collaboration between data scientists, collaboration between analysts, collaboration between subject matter experts and collaboration between all three to help create the best quality or the most applicable and provide the best experience for the users of Prediction Insight to create the most applicable and deployable analytics in the end. And finally, and most importantly, our machine learning semantic model packages enable deploy anywhere flexibility. You can deploy this machine learning semantic model through our REST APIs, um, through inside databases or also through our Java and .NET libraries in any runtime. The core of the technology in Prediction Insight is the machine learning semantic model. This is a technology that encapsulates all the steps required to prepare and shape data, deploy algorithms and analytics, and validate the results into a complete and reproducible package. In Prediction Insight 4.0, uh, we've um, surfaced this in the final product so you'll be interacting directly with packages. Uh, we also allow you to bring in multiple data sources and also allow you to incorporate the results of predictive analytics or other analytics that you run directly back into the, pa the package workflow, meaning that we orchestrate the outputs of varieties of analytical packages together so you can get the best possible result from your analytics. In Prediction Insight 4.0, with three major components that you'll interact with. There is the Prediction Insight Workbench, where you build the MLSM packages, which is integrated with Excel. There is the Prediction Insight Explorer, our brand new visualization framework and collaboration framework, and the Prediction Insight Server, where all the magic happens. Now let's go into a demo, where I'll show you some of these new features that we've introduced in Prediction Insight 4.0. Let's start with Insight Explorer. Insight Explorer is our new visualization, exploration, and collaboration environment for Prediction Insight. In Insight Explorer, you can see that you can view all your workspaces that you have access to, which group your uh, packages by type or by subject. You can access your account, and you can access the individual packages. Uh, when you click on a particular package, um, you can see all the options you have for visualizing and managing uh, packages in our thin client. Uh, here you can perform a variety of actions on the package. You can see a variety of different views on those packages. You can click on the right-hand side and view comments that have been made on that package by anybody who has permission uh, to, to view those particular objects. Uh, you can uh, pin reports. You can run, uh, see your goals, results of scripts that have been run, and results of models that have been created. Every visualization in uh, Prediction Insight 4.0 comes inside a frame where you can create pinned reports, you can get information, you can email this view to other people, or you can copy the results and render the results into Excel. There are many different views available in Prediction Insight, in the Prediction Insight uh, Insight Explorer, uh, and we won't get to those today, but over the coming weeks, we'll release a variety of videos that show you um, many of the different kind of operations you can perform here. Next, let's look at the Insight Workbench. Insight Workbench is our Excel embedded workbench for creating and manipulating packages. 
you might notice the first thing you might know the first thing you might notice is that the ribbon has been reordered to focus around the abilities to view, manage, and create your, your packages. When you create a new package, um, you can choose uh, from where you want to create that, that package. I can bring in data, for example, from Excel. When you open the Insight Workbench, you may notice that there's many new options for cleaning and shaping your data. You also may notice that operations before for saving to the server creating or updating your application are now replaced with package save and save as. Uh, other new things are the addition of a data ribbon and a view ribbon which provide many new operations for importing, bringing data into your packages, and visualizing the data and exploring your data while you're creating your packages. An exciting new feature is the ability to bring in multiple data sources. In this case I want to extend data that I have stored in Excel with data that I have in SQL Server. So I'm going to go to the data ribbon and add a table from external data. Here I'm going to select data that's in my readmissions database in this drugs administered table and click OK. Now it's going to load a sample of that data and bring it into my workbench for shaping. Just like every other table in my package, I can clean this data and perform other operations on this. So I'm going to remove outliers on that one column. When I want to incorporate this data into my analytical data set, I go to the case table and do some of these other operations that are performed here, such as nesting by bringing in data from the other table into this environment. We've added many expressions that allow you to manipulate that data inside the Insight Workbench to create very advanced and comprehensive uh, semantic model packages. Another exciting feature is the ability to apply arbitrary R scripts against your MLSM packages. In order to do this, you launch from Excel the Apply Script wizard in the Build Model section of the Insight Now ribbon. In the Apply Script writ wizard, you select the package that you want to apply the script to, you select the script that you want to apply, or you can click on New Script to upload a script from your hard drive to the Prediction Insight server. You select which columns that you want to run the script on. And you select whatever parameters are specified in the definition of that script. And then click Finish to run that script on your data set. When the script is finished, you can view your package and look at the results of the script in the Insight Explorer. For every script, you'll get um, multiple views. You can actually view the script itself and look at the code that was used to generate that script. You can look at the result of the script, which is whatever the script happens to return. And you can look at any reports that are generated by the script, which are any images or HTML files that the script may generate in its execution. As with every other view in the Insight Explorer, you can mail these to people, you can pin these as canned reports, or you can comment on these for collaboration with all, your, all of your colleagues, data science, subject matter expert, or analyst colleagues uh, who are also using Prediction Insight. After you've executed a script, you can go back into the Insight Workbench, open up a package, and use those script results to enhance your MLSM package. In the workbench, I can apply any result of scripting back into my data set by using the invoke or the ninvoke functions, which allow me to specify the name of a script result, a function in that script, and any additional parameters that I need in order to call that function. Those results automatically get integrated back into my prediction, prediction package. Not only can I call invoke on R functions, but I also have a whole set of predictive functions that I can use to call any predictive model that was, uh, that was built inside my package and incorporate those results back in, which can then be used as inputs for other predictive models downstream. In this environment as well, I can go to the view ribbon and look at data exploration and start exploring uh, any of my data columns, including the results of any scripting that I put in there. 
using scatter plots, histograms, bar charts, um, a variety of different exploration methods. Finally, we've redesigned how you perform predictions in Prediction Insight using the Predict Wizard. Here I can say whether I want to predict a value, perform forecasts, or recommendations. And in the wizard, I can click through and I can select my package. I select what outputs I want, including any calculations which could be the results of R scripts or the results of predictive models. I can bind all the variety of different uh, input tables that are blended together to different data sources. And I can specify additional options um, that I want in my output and where I want those outputs. As usual, I can create a visual macro which allows me to automate how those results are used and use those in other applications. In order to make deployment easier, you can go to the, visual, the macros button, select any visual macro, and click on the JSON button, which copies that um, visual macro to the clipboard, where you can see you now have a JSON version of that visual macro, which you can send through our REST API for deployment. These are just some of the highlights of what's new in Prediction Insight 4.0. I hope you enjoy the product and come back to see uh, more videos in our Getting Started series and keep an eye out for our Did You Know articles on how you can take advantage of all of our new functionality. Thank you.